Hey guys, how you going? I thought uh, today I would jump on and do a little bit of a live video. So as a lot of you probably know, I'm about to launch, well tomorrow I'm launching out my very first online makeup course. And this has inspired a lot of thought and all sorts of things for me, the creation of this course. And that's why I'm here doing this live. And what I'm gonna do is something a little bit different. I'm gonna read off some notes today. And what I'm gonna be talking about is the relationship you have with yourself in the mirror. Um, hello there, Talisha, thanks for jumping on, and Linda. Cool, so what I'm talking about is, yeah, the relationship you have with yourself in the mirror. And what I wanna ask is, what are you telling yourself? Or what thoughts are you having? Are they positive? Are they negative? Are they non-existent? So when you stand in the mirror, are you telling yourself you don't look good enough, you're not worth enough? Or are you telling yourself you, you feel beautiful, you look beautiful, you're enough? So what is the conversation you're having with yourself? And how do you feel about your image? Because we live in the 21st century and it is a part of the 21st century or the world that we live in is to have uh, an image, like image is important. And hello to Lena and Kaylin, to people that have jumped on. I'm just talking about the relationship with yourself in the mirror. So we're in 21st century, our, our image is important. So to simply not care, it's not impossible. So if you're someone who doesn't care about your image or doesn't see the value in it, I'm not here to have a debate or anything like that. I wanna to talk to people who understand the importance of their image and the role it can play in their life. So I'm um, just going off my notes here for a moment. So I believe your image plays an important part in your overall happiness. And, um, and that leads me to another thing. So people, what is happiness? What is feeling good? Is it just a choice? Because a lot of people tend to say, just choose to be happy and you'll be happy or just choose to love yourself and you'll love yourself. So it's great to say all these things and it's great to say, oh, it's just simple, just make the decision. But the truth is, if we look at life in, in a whole is, we all have decisions in our life and choices to make and some are easy and some are hard. So I believe the choice to be happy, the choice to love yourself isn't necessarily super easy. And so how does this relate to the mirror? Let me just go back here for a moment and how you feel um, about the conversations you're having in the mirror. And it's not so much about a choice of just, I'm gonna look in the mirror, I'm gonna love myself. I'm gonna look in the mirror, I'm gonna feel happy. It's about making the choice to change the conversation that you're having. Because ha the conversations you have with yourself do shape your reality. They shape how you feel. So if you're someone who is having a negative talk when you're in, looking in the mirror and saying negative things or throughout the day. It's about making that choice to replace those negative thoughts with some positive ones. Or if you're someone who just says nothing or you're not having the conversations with yourself, you're not telling yourself that you are beautiful and that you're enough, then you need to start having those conversations with you. So along with the conversations, it's about taking care of your appearance as well. So as those thoughts change uh, to positive thoughts and you're you know, thinking about your image. Um, what I'm trying to say here is, if someone wants to offer you a complete makeover, as well as this is now going into more your image, so caring about your image, caring about the way um, you look. If someone said to you, look, I'm gonna sit you down, I'm gonna take you out, I'm gonna give you a complete makeover. I'm gonna transform your hair, transform your makeup, give you new clothes. I wanna ask you, if that was to happen to you, how would that make you feel? There's a good chance that's going to make you feel amazing. It won't fix all your problems, but what that will do for you is it's going to put a spring in your step. It's going to make you feel alive. It's gonna help you feel awake and alert and re-inspired and excited. So if you put that self-talk, having that positive self-talk, revamping your image, what that's gonna do it doesn't fix your life, it doesn't fix your problems, it makes you feel good. And that then has an onflow in your life. So when you're feeling good, um, the thoughts are positive in your head, life flows beautifully for you. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. And I guess that's what the Everyday Women Makeup Academy is about. It's about uh, looking in the mirror, changing the conversations you're having with yourself, 
learning makeup techniques and feeling good. So I am done now. That's what I wanted to share. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've got any questions around this, I'd love to discuss them a little further. Thank you to everyone who jumped on. Um, if you are watching this as, as a replay, let me know um, by putting a little heart in the comments. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. See you.